Well, I've always said if, um, had I been born an ordinary woman, I would have been either the biggest movie star in the world or a duchess, one of the two. It's simple as that. Because I certainly had enough suitors <laughs> from the aristocracy. And my career was moving into movies. But now, of course, you couldn't act out of yourself out of a brown paper bag. But the hospital got in touch with me, and they said, your father's died. I hadn't seen him for years and years. And um, he was amazing, because when I walked in, I, the first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, my father's hair is still as blue-black as mine was, as mine is. You know, I do hope I never go gray-haired, because there he was, at 58, dying of his war wounds. And his hair was still not a gray hair. And I thought, well, I look like him. I'm, I'm, I never realized I would go gray, you know. And then he took my breath away. He said, darling, I always knew, and you're lovely. I said, oh, dad, I said, that's lovely. And I held his hand, you know.